morning everybody, how are we all doing? So, I hope you're all doing fine. Yesterday was the worst day I ever had. Um, I'm going to add a clip to this, so please don't judge me or anything like that. But I just want to show what fibro can do to you sometimes. So last night, it's a bit dark because I was in bed. Um, but I'm going to add it anyway and see what you think because... I, I'm probably not the only one that suffers like that and I'm still feeling it today I absolutely feel whacked out and choked up the cold I've got the worst headache ever but last night I'm not kidding I could not get comfy I could not get rid of this pain even though I was using the e-pads and stuff and it just wouldn't go so I, it just got to me and I just burst out in tears and I just had enough. I didn't know that I got a and &E. I didn't know that. I... And then I tried ringing the doctors this morning, no luck there. So I thought, oh, for goodness sake, I just felt like I was stuck with no, nothing to help me. Even the pain relief, paracetamol or whatever wasn't working. I'll add a clip to see what you think. Please don't judge me or anything negative. Hi right, guys, you probably can't see me, but I'm okay. I'm... I'm in bed and it's about 11 o'clock and I cannot get rid of this pain. I've never felt pain like this in all my life. I've been trying to put it off. I just thought, this is, you don't see this type of kind. Oh, I thought I put my torch on um, so you could see me a little bit better. Let me see. I don't know if it'll work. Well, I hope you can really. I don't want to put the light because I can't move. I don't know whether to go in Haney or wait till the morning to go to the doctors. I swear to God, I've never felt pain so bad in all my life. My lower back feels like it's ready to pop. <laughs> my wrists and arms and shoulders are killing me so much. <laughs> my left knee feels like it's. It's about to go. I've never felt so much pain in all my life. I hope you guys are, are not struggling like I am today. I've never This is the worst I've ever felt. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I have never felt so much pain in all my life. Like last night, I physically cried myself to sleep with fibro, chronic pain. I didn't know whether to go to Haney. Stay in I literally could not get up. The pain was so intense. And it's, please let me know, guys, any fibro warriors, what kind of pain relief you use. Because I tried heat pads, pain relief last night, and none of it is helping. It's getting to the point where it's affecting my mental health as well. I'm just actually outside uh, my appointment, so I'm seeing my CPN at half past 11 this morning. Oh, no, absolutely. Whacked out. I, I just don't feel myself. Is there anything that you guys, any fibro warriors, what do you use for that when you get the pain so intense that you just don't see your way out? I'm trying not to get upset because I'm tired as well, so that doesn't help. Um, and when I did get a sleeve, oh, well, I've got a sharp pain down my legs. So it was non-stop last night. I've had five more flares, but the pain, I've n last time I experienced, oh, God, all the glad mid juice and it bins. I have suffered with pain similar to that, but this was the worst ever I've ever felt. I'm not lying. I thought I, thought I was dying last night. Then, obviously, the anxiety started kicking in, so it gave me a bit of chest pain. That's why I thought I was dying, but, you know, I wasn't. But your mind just plays tricks with you, doesn't it? And I, I put some heat pads on my back. That just never even touched the pain. Um, and I put some uh, DP on me. Yeah, not DP. Um, some pain relief cream, I forgot what you call it. Put that on my arms and on my legs. It does nothing was shifting this pain. I have never, I would not wish that on anybody. I'm not kidding. 
I couldn't help but cry last night just to release something. But I'm just sat waiting to go in and before I left I got the lip roller and I cleaned my clothes. I've got in the car and there's dog hair all over me. So that's just bugs the life out of me. One second. So yeah, I've got five minutes before I can go in. <sighs> I'll catch up with you again on guys. Hi guys, so it's been a few hours since I've come home from my appointment and I've not really done much to be honest, I'm just whacked out. Uh, I look... I don't even know what I look like. Anyway, so I've come home to find a big puddle of water all on the kitchen floor. Yeah. And then when I went to take my son to the shop, the council guy that was outside, electrician, or downstairs, and informed us that there's water coming through and it's not just a little bit of water, but a lot of water going through to downstairs. So oh, now I've got to wait in again for the emergency plumber. Oh, just had some pain relief, so my pain levels, I mean, they're still there, but not as bad as I was. I'm looking at I've, I've, I think I've added a clip in to this of what happened last night. I'm looking here. I tried to talk to my CPN about it. She just didn't seem to be interested. She just ring the doctor, get a medical review. Um, and then she said, oh, we're thinking, what support do you think we can support you with? I'm like, well, got my mental health, really. Mm. But it's like she, what she said, oh, well, we're good. I'm thinking about discharge. I said, well, if you're going to discharge me, discharge me. She said, well, we can't do that because you've just come out of IHGT. I said, well, make up your mind. Oh my god, put the gas. I got a delivery a bit ago. Um and I think it's what I ordered ages ago off a tip shop. Um ooh, box is wet. Um the lip is just getting short because I'm asleep out. So I'm trying to the box the bag is wet. One second try. Figure out where to put it because I haven't put a sweat floor. But I just don't have the energy to do any housework. I'm just out with a, a boyfriend's house. So. Oh, damaged box. So it's these new curlers. Do I have issues with. I do have a set of curlers, but. Oh, I'll set the colour up. Well, it's, pur it's purple. I, I thought it was, it was black. I'll give a review on it another day right now. Just not with it, to be honest. I'm really... Uh, I'm not with it. I'm not with it mentally, physically. <laughs> um, I mean, I need to wash, but I can't use the bathroom because I don't know where the leak is coming from. Um, but yeah, pardon me, it looks like it's probably coming from the kitchen to be honest. Like I say, Libby's getting ready to go to her mates. I'm having a cup of tea. Actually, I pulled all my stuff out from underneath the kitchen unit to see if there's a leak, but I couldn't see any. Um, I've just kept the curtains closed because I've got the worst headache ever. And it keeps peeing it down, it's a big dirty cloud outside. So guys, fellow fibro warriors, chronic illnesses, pain, whatever. How's your day going? Because mine's going from bad to worse. I just hope downstairs stuff aren't damaged. I mean, I've been in a flat once before and it's yeah, I don't really have much, but to where I've been told the leak is, I've just, but it's not the point, is it? point is I've got a leak and it's going through to their flat and I know what it's like because when my neighbours have a leak it comes through to mine but mine comes through light bulbs and bathroom and I've had about three rooms being water damage but anyway 
I will be leave you and I'm going to catch up with you in the next video. Hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better than what I am today. We'll try to get all the other GPs in the morning if I get up in time. Because this time is the way I just want to lie down and go carry on sleeping. But at the minute my body doesn't want to know. It's like sleep. <laughs> Whatever woman, you're not having any sleep. Um, so yeah, and then I need to get someone in to decorate in here because my son's just moved the coffee table that I don't really use but I had a cat stand on it and one of them's had a whiz up the wall and I'm like, I've been crying out loud, what's that? Oh, it's a bit of fluff. So I need to get some decent, like, maybe a bathroom paint in here so at least if they do appear on my wall then I can wipe it down. And one of them is neutered so I don't get why he keeps doing it. It looks at me and all and then does it, a little cheeky little so and so. And I've got cat trays all the way around the houses and all, all around the houses, should I say. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching and I'm sorry if it's a bit of a morbid one. But please let me know in the comments below how y'all getting on with your pain levels and how you manage and stuff like that. Because at the minute, I, I, I think I was having a breakdown last night with that, with that upset with it all. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. And put me a comment because it helps with the health of the room and it helps with YouTube, YouTube shares my videos a bit more than what it is doing right now. Thanks a lot and I'll see you later. Bye bye.